Hello out there. We are on the air. You know what? I'm going to send out the path signal, but uh, while I do that, just take a look. A little reminder of what happened in our last episode. If you missed the last stream, uh, I have already uploaded it onto YouTube. So by all means, uh, go check that out uh, later, though. Later. But uh, a career game for Jiggles Jake Taylor. The second most passing yards ever in a uh, single game. Now, if you'll excuse me, we'll get started proper in about two minutes. I'm going to uh, send out the link. Uno. Ah. I need a new phone. <laughs> the amount of time I spend correcting typos that happen because of this keyboard. Staggering. Oh, hey, hey, Dean. Welcome, welcome. Dean is the GM I'm facing uh, in a couple of minutes here. We'll do the sound check, and we're just about ready to get started. But a uh, shout-out to Dabrowski Diego and the New York Jets, both the Offensive and Defensive Player of the Week in the AFC, doing what uh, we managed to do in the NFC. Oh, God, and that terrible voice you hear is me echoing through my phone. I've muted that. We have our sound check already, though. So don't let that 3-9 and nine fool you. The... Uh, Rams coming off a, I believe, a win in their last game. If not, it was a very close loss where Tua threw for six TDs. He threw for 451 yards. So between that, Jiggles' four touchdown throws and 542 yards, those two quarterbacks, the two we're about to watch, combined for nearly 1,000 passing yards and 10 touchdowns one week ago. So, uh... Naturally, this one's going to be 7-6. to six. Hey, Roast, how's it going? Kudos to your Bengals. Big W today. <clears throat> Pardon me, as I'm real professional at coughing in the mic. We have a couple of scenarios slash press conferences slash chats to have. Uh, Coach, your team was able to throw it at will in your last win. You have to be excited about the offensive line's ability to keep the QB clean. Oh, I... Clicked and missed what the coach said. The amount of sacks we allow against the Rams will determine how much XP each offensive lineman earns. Nice. Oh, poop. <laughs> We're missing our uh, superstar, I believe, 87 overall center, Bill Dotrieve. So that will hurt. You know what? Let's quickly check, make sure we have the right man in the depth chart. Rose says, big 52 whopper today with 314-yard, 4-TD game from Joey and a 4.5-sack game from Hendrickson. Very nice. All right, Evan Brown is the uh, backup center, number 63. At least we have a suitable backup in there. But it's definitely a drop of nearly 15 overall points. Marquee QB match of this week between Tua Te Tagovailoa and Jake Taylor. Uh, who are you expecting to step up? Ooh. Let's go, Jiggles. Oh, I should have said the defense. I always should say the defense. They're what's winning us games. Battles are always fun and bring the best out in players. Each guy wants to win, and ah, I couldn't do it. Ooh, yeah, right? Like, I'm not going to get four-plus TDs. Although... 
Ripa, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you had that challenge last week and did get it with Tua. Speaking of, um, if any of you... Oh, right. Oh, no, no, never mind. I'm not doing the advance yet. But uh, if you guys are on autopilot and you have a challenge that does not uh, go through, then definitely let me know. We can always fix these things. Let's get a quick refresher on the Rams. It's been a few streams. Oh, okay, no, I should not be doing it from this screen because it all has all the uh, morale and challenge uh, boosts and demerits. Team salaries lets us know what players actually are. Tua up to a 92 after his last game. Dion Pruitt, Bo Andrews, the uh, very young, very talented uh, halfback combination. They have a fullback in CJ Ham, which I love. Puka Nakua, Pat Weaver, Calvin Austin are their big three, and Quez Watkins just burners for uh, their two through four receivers. And Puka is just a beast. He's incredible. One of the top three receivers in the league so far. Oh, Rose saying that Chase Brown also proved to be a good backup, too. 89 yards on 13 carries and two touchdowns in one quarter. That is a very good uh, quarter, to be sure. Tyler Boss, the young tight end. Their O-line is pretty darn good. I mean, they have a rookie uh, center who's only uh, 72. Hey, hey, Landon, welcome, welcome. Everyone else is hostly and healthy. healthy. Leonardo Costello, who I believe went fourth in the draft, maybe sixth, but we can check. Superstar X Factor, so nice drafting by you, Dean. The sixth overall pick. So Costello at six and Weaver at nine. You had two very good picks. Larry Fridley, who was part of the uh, Aaron Donald deal, 80 overall, uh, big beefy boy center. <clears throat> yeah, solid defense. I'm surprised you haven't had more success. Uh, we are in a meat grinder of a division. Also, obviously, the 83.2 million cap penalty means this team is going to get a lot better very soon when that clears. But without further ado... Let us do it to it. The 12 and 0 Cardinals hope to keep the streak alive. However, oh, we played the Rams already. Quick check on the last game. Because the Rams almost beat us. I think they came as close as anyone. Chiefs came within seven points. Um, three points. Yeah. Rams very nearly beat us, gave us our biggest challenge as of yet. Had a big win against the Chargers last week, who are a very good team. So uh, second half Rams are dangerous, and they are healthy. So good luck to you, Dean. If I have to lose to anyone, I would hate losing to you a little less than most. Puka with a clean 1,200 yards exactly on 89 receptions, 11 times finding the house. Chargers being very good as a stretch, says their GM. Well, it's it's been a bit of a uh, slide the last few weeks. <clears throat> I should refer to things in games, because uh, weeks is confusing, since we basically play a week every day. It's Rams, Cardinals, part two this season. And Aaron Donald in his second game against his old team. Not quite as interesting as the homecoming where the Rams nearly uh, took the W. Although, hey, we'll see. This one could be much more interesting. No. Where's our zoom in on Jimbo Jane? Daxton Hill, this is new. I mean, I love me some Daxon Hill. That's why we signed him. But, uh, geez. I feel like we have our uh, superstition that we got to be keeping up. Yeah. 
And Troy Anderson with a big tackle on Calvin Austin, another former uh, Arizona Cardinal from our franchise. Let's see if they show two as last week. They do not, but his season, the interceptions are bad, but 3,452 yards and 25 scores, that's real nice. If he had like 13 picks, that would look a lot better. Oh, let's try and get him to 20 here, guys. Oh my god! The corner, Tayshawn Leonard, screaming in for a sack. Usually it's our uh, D-line. Like, we don't often send our linebackers, let alone our secondary, but with the nickel package, slot corner blitz. So back from their own eight-yard line, Dion Pruitt wrapped up and loses a yard. Hobbsy on the TFL. And it's a safety. You can dance if we want to. Sorry, guys. So before the offense takes the field, we put points on the board. Chase Young, and I guess Snoop will also get credit. I assume the safety itself, they don't do uh, half safeties. That'll probably go to Young as he made first contact. It's kicker be kicking. And I really thought that I swapped Ice Bear in for kick returns. Maybe safety returns is different. <coughs> Pardon me. So Jiggles with fewer yards on the season than Tua, but a better touchdown to interception ratio. From the Cardinals, 34 we start. And immediately sacked. Morton on the uh, the sack. Play action fooled nobody there. A loss of six. And of course, this during the week when we have that uh, lineman challenge for extra XP. Jameson Williams getting 15 yards of that back on his first catch of the day. Had a career game last week. Almost surprised no breakout scenario because he's a star dev. Had 242 yards and two touchdowns. Broken up. Uh, so, a three and out. Nice job, Dean. The Ice Bear could not hold on to the ball. McAfee with the kick. And that will be a touchback. Lands in the end zone. much to start this game, but we are still very early. Hand off to Pruitt. Oh, who stiff arms Aaron Donald. Still only gets back to the line of scrimmage, but gets uh, back to it at least. Data with a big shoulder tackle. Pickup of six yards for Calvin Austin, the third. They're now third and five. Good boy, Snoop. Gets the sack on third down, and it's a three and out. Hope you guys came to see kicking. I don't know who got credit with that. Well, the Ice Bear is there on punt returns. Gets it to about, you guessed it, midfield. Oh, Trevor Lawrence and the Jags taking another L. They're having a rough year. Right, 
What was that? Absolute trash screen pass. Nice, uh, safe possession catch by Luke Musgrave. Gain of eight on the throw. Jiggles doesn't like what he sees. Calling to change things up. We'll see if it pays dividends. And it's batted down. Another three and out. Oh my god, wait. So this will be a missed field goal from behind the 50... What? Why would you do this? What? How did he... Okay, I might have to turn down the kick power sliders, guys. I did... What? And Daxon Hill, along with Amir Hurwitz, combining on the tackle. Austin gets to the 20. So just a standard 5 nothing football game. And broken up by Wakabayashi, or never mind, Sonoa. Huh. Hey, Landon. I think that counts as a second TFL on the day for Tayshawn Leonard, who had that uh, sack to start the day. Third and long here from their own 19. Tua throwing that to Tariq Woolen out of bounds. Okay. Incomplete. And the Ice Bear gets it to the 48. I mean, this is basically where we kick the field goal. Empty backfield. What? Is... Like, have you thought about running the ball? Last week, it was too much running. This week, it's no running to speak of. All right. First down. Ice Bear holds on. Nice change of pace. Up at the Rams, 39. O'Shea kind of gets hung up on the new center, but still gets seven yards on his first carry of the day. This is the third drive of the so far. And his first carry. That being said, I think we only have one, maybe two. I think only one uh, first down, so not as much opportunity as... Normally that would mean. And third and inches now as O'Shea gets almost the three yards he needs. See if they're running. Two wide receivers, two tight ends, and a single back. Oh, oh he got it. Okay. I kind of hated that uh, gap that he ran to. But it panned out. We only needed a yard. We got a yard. So after my complaining, it's been, what, three, four run plays straight? Gain of six. Little out route to the Ice Bear. Wind him up to 20 yards. Empty backfield. Oh, Ayuk breaks the tackle, scampers into the end zone. A 23-yard touchdown. And Ice Bear and Ayuk dancing. This is, oh wow, that was like a pass of five yards. Colbert unable to uh, wrap him up, and Ayuk just scampers on in. Most of that was after the catch.
Check her out there, looking to make it 12 nothing. Success! <clears throat> Pardon me. By the way, has have anyone else noticed Jiggles has the third best record in the league with the Saints? What a turnaround. Starting from the 25, drop back two yards to the 23. Aaron Donald wrapping up Pruitt. TFL. Finds Zakua, but quickly uh, wrapped up. Gain of about seven on that. Six. Oh, Tua finding Pruitt first down. I believe the first first down the Rams have gotten today. Nice conversion. Tua staying calm in the pocket, evading Chase Young, then finding his open halfback. So Rams doing some smart things. Short, quick passes. Keeping the line for, uh, pardon me, keeping the D line from being able to uh, collapse in. Oh, debatable. I thought he caught that. Must have been out of bounds. Third and eight. Oh, it's a chuck. Finding Pat Weaver, first down and into the red zone. Wow, the rookie sensation breaks um, past uh, Tariq Woolen, who has 15 interceptions on the season, by the way. Like, that is no scrub that he beat. A little pat on pad violence. And Pruitt brought down by Tayshawn Leonard. I've been saying Leonard's name a lot this game. He's uh, shown me something. Not that he isn't usually good, but very impressive in this one. Jamar Hamlin and Calvin Austin, the former Cardinal on the catch. And actual stealer in real life. It'll be first and goal on the two. I don't think we've seen Bo Andrews yet. Is Pruitt on the field again? Andrews is the power back. That will end the first quarter. So it's 12 nothing for now, but they're two yards away with a fresh set of downs. Tua's putting some together a healthy drive here. And it's a pass. Chua doesn't see anything he likes, decides he has three more shots, he'll take one of them. Now going to the I formation, CJ Ham and Bo Andrews on the field. Oh, and Bo manages to just plow into the end zone. Nicely done. Rams get on the board and make it a one-score game yet again. <laughs> Bo no score. You renamed him Bo, didn't you? <laughs> Good stuff, Rippa. I have the privilege of the Rams GM uh, watching along with me. Oh, man, that's going to be fun. If uh, Not sure if you're still in here, Landon, but we play in a uh, couple days. That'll be good times. The Ice Bear. Okay, he has 51 receptions, 766 yards, and seven scores. O'Shea gets five on the carry. Not too shabby.
Another handoff for O'Shea, but the outside run does not work that uh, well. Huh. Devontae Peppers at QB, apparently, from the Cardinals. Jiggles, welcome. Saying that, oh my god, wow! I think they're going to decline. Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. The play action was a bust. Immediate sack and getting the fumble turnover within 20 yards of the end zone. Oh, yeah. Rams, we only beat by three points the last time. Like, they are just a bad matchup for us. Tua is pretty good at not getting sacked. And he's also pretty good at throwing the ball on. Like, it's death by a thousand paper cuts with him. Every so often you'll get a 20 to 30 yard throw in there when he gets one of his speedy guys. It's a lot of five yard pickups. As you can see there, first and goal. Got one yard more than he needed. Yeah, Puka, three catches, 11 yards. But hey, it's effective. They very well could take the lead. And that's definitely a face mask animation, Hobbsy. Oh, RN Jesus shines on me. All right, first and goal at the 13 now. Not mad at this. Oh, Pruitt almost finds the seat. Still gets about, uh, I'd say, five, six yards on that carry before being brought down by Haku Sanoa. Basically back to where they were two plays ago, second and goal on the seven. Turnabout fair play. Ball don't lie. Snoop Lindsay with the sack, the strip. Chase Young picking up the ball and just in the most awkward way possible, just stops, stands over the ball, Bends over, touches his toes. There. Oh, that's mine. And falls. Just immediately. Turtles. Stops, drops, and rolls. All right. Cardinals ball at uh, the, their own 23-yard line. Oh, look at those blocks. Oh, look at that juke. And he runs out of bounds. He could have probably had another four or five yards there. So, second and one. Looks like uh, swapping to Tiny in the backfield. Big pancake! Ho ho! And are you kidding me, Stolars? How far did you run to get nothing? Wasting that amazing block. There we go. Luke Musgrave gets the first down and then some. Longest zero-yard rush of all time. Right, Landon? Like, he probably ran about 15 yards sideways. <laughs> and there was no one there for Musgrave. Thankfully the, for the Rams, uh, their safety was on the scene because that was a wide-open catch. Maybe they sent a few too many on a blitz. I didn't catch it, though. And Brandon Ayuk holds on to the ball. He does not get, he does not suffer from drops. Uh, watch, famous last words. He's about to drop like three in a row. Oh, O'Shea following his blockers nicely. He's picking up some momentum as we're just about in the Rams red zone. So after that great run, empty backfield. Musgrave gets it all the way to the one. First and goal. That's a little tough for him. He couldn't uh, get in the end zone. Okay, Rams, you would need to cover that man. What is happening? I'm disappointed there's no fullback on the scene, but uh, we do have O'Shea there. Clearly, this looks like a run. And he waltzes into the end zone. And Charlie Ray Jensen is hurt.
Make it a standard 19 to 7 score. Yeah, you do my sympathy, Rippa, after uh, getting it to the seven yard line, Tua fumbling the ball, turning it over, and that leading to a touchdown the other way. That is, that is a hard turn of uh, events. A twist of fate, if you will, baby. Danielson with a TFL. Since we moved him out of the slot, he has not uh, obviously done that much. Nice uh, job on the coverage. Second and 11 now. Finding Weaver, who gets it almost all the way back. Third and three. And Weaver having a nice day, 46 yards already. Excellent pickup in uh, the draft there, Rippa. It's broken up tough. Isaiah Simmons with a big hit. And that's Tyler Boss, the tight end, uh, on the drop. The punt is up. Ooh, Ice Bear's got some blockers. Ice Bear has some blockers. Nobody's close. The Ice Bear gets a touchdown. His third kick return touchdown of the year. And uh, blessing in disguise, the tiny Stolar's injury, it uh, sort of unlocked Ice Bear Wyndham as this ultimate return man for me. Kick is up, kick is good. Make it 26 to 7. First and 10 for the Rams from their own 25. <laughs> Landon saying it was close at one point. I, but I mean, this is what happened last week with you, right? False sense of security, then just second half Rams took over. Rose saying games looking similar to his. I do like the sounds of that. Boss making up for the drop on uh, the last throw to him. Gets his first reception of the day. 13-yard pickup. Swerve's first tackle. Leonard on the tackle. Boss again. Pickup of eight that time. Thank goodness for Aaron Donald, the TFL. Oh, jeez. Landon saying, went up 7 nothing against the 49ers. And then Herbert decided he doesn't want to play with us anymore. I, but, I mean, consider that 49ers team is really good. Like, those games will happen. I still have more losses to them than wins. Weaver with the first down. I mean, that win last year was just wacky foolishness where everything bounced right my way. Wakabayashi breaking up the catch. Nicely done. Jiggles is very excited for the QB carousel and a huge sack by Chase Young, taking them back out of field goal range. Tua realizing he's about to hit the grass again, throws it out of bounds to save yardage. Landon not high on Herbert. Uh, without sharing any details, have people been in your DMs yet? Because... No, I hate when the punter f fumbles the snap because it's always roughing the kicker. We already know. 
Punts don't get blocked. It's just roughing the kicker. I have seen field goals get blocked. Isaiah, damn you and your 93 speed. Okay. Just one so far, but one is enough. So, wow. Fresh set of uh, downs at the 37. Huge twist. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't mean to be laughing, but he turned and rolled right into that tackle. Broken up by Danielson. So it's third and 16. And once again, able to move them out of field goal range via sack. So there will not be much time left in the half. I would almost assume just run the ball. But we'll see. Especially since the uh, Cardinals do start with it uh, in the second half. Well, Jiggles does have the X-Factor lit up, so they might do something. Indeed, it's Musgrave. Making the catch. Oh, okay, sure. I guess it's not a huge lead. It's 19 points, but it feels a little try-hard. I guess we're padding stats, which helps progress players. This also feels like an arm punt, you know? Incomplete. Like, would I be shocked if um, Jiggles chucks it 40 yards right into the safety's hands? No. Oh, he takes it himself. Slides after picking up eight. And Cardinals use their last time out. More questionable decisions, but it's all fine. No, we don't want the first down. I'm going to throw it out of bounds and punt instead. That is maybe the most obvious case of the AI getting weird. Like, there was... We could all see the line. There was no one there. Damn it! McAfee, you fumbled the uh, the snap and still got it off you. Okay. Anyways, nine seconds left. Let's see if they chuck it or just run out the clock. What a long, drawn-out end of the first half here. Pruitt with the carry, no gain. On eight carries, he has seven yards. It's been a tough half for uh, Pruitt. So we were, in a way, uh, threatened with a passing duel. I might have hinted a little too heavily at it. We are not getting that here. We are getting just a grimy, tight game, which, because of a kick return touchdown, the score looks better in my favor than it really ought to be. Cardinals start to begin the second half here. We'll see how quickly clock management begins. I assume more runs will occur. But not yet. You guys can't see my facial expression, but uh, not quite sure what was happening there. Maybe just a really good uh, breakup, but it looked bad from where I was standing from. Jiggles calling the audible. Everybody in motion. Oh, Tiny not able to hold on. It's broken up by Alford. And that might take Jiggles out of his... Well, apparently not. I didn't realize how bad one of uh, our home field advantages is. Home team has a better chance to stop kicks. Like blocking a kick. Finds Ayuk, gets the first down. That was a nice little clutch throw and catch. More Ayuk. He does not drop the ball. And with two tight ends on the field, maybe three. Yeah. 
Oh, Juke. Nicely done by O'Shea. Yes, DeBrow did tile it. Oh, right. That hurts your Chargers' chances. But it makes things more clear-cut for the playoff push, like having a team with a tie. Oh, couldn't follow the extra yard. Four yards on the pickup, third and one. Now let's see if they run a third straight time. I'm also a big fan of having a couple ties every season. It's just fun. And O'Shea getting about two, three yards on that carry. Three wide outs on the field. Musgrave lined up with the uh, lineman. It is a pass, and oh my god. These middle linebacker blitzes, no one's picking them up. Right, we don't have our center. Uh, not sure the Cowboys record as of right now, Jiggles. Uh, we can take, you know what, we'll do the advance very soon as well, so we'll get a fresh look at it. What a pittance. Nice uh, throw, nice catch. Not a lot on it. Six yards. So third and 12. It took a chunk out. And Musgrave gets the rest. Beautiful catch. He might be close to 100 now. Nine and four, and they're on their bye. Thank you, Landon. So the Manders... Uh, we could have our dream of an all-user playoff, although I guess the Seahawks and Panthers need to pick it up. Musgrave had exactly 100 yards on his fifth catch of the day. Jiggles giving out thank yous. I form, but it's a pass? He's a little tricky boy. Six yards on the catch. They get second and four from the 25. Hand off to O'Shea. Ooh, let's see what the flag is. Stop it. Oh, since he only plays one more team above 500. Saints are two games up on uh, Dallas and Detroit, and Jiggles is feeling reassured. Well, a little bit of a game, making it third and eight. Jiggles is trying to avoid the Cardinals as long as possible. Brother, you are third in the league and have been playing great. You might have the formula here. And that will be an incompletion. Call for Dicker. Two games against the Ravens. Interesting they're both so late in the year. That being the Bengals uh, informing me. Jiggles saying Saints' schedule has been relatively soft. That's very humble of you. I mean, it, it could be. If you drew the NFC North, yeah, well, okay. Outside of the Lions, none of them are winning much. Oh, wow. So that's big playoff implications because it's uh, Bengals and Ravens basically for that division. And you play twice in the last uh, three weeks. Huge. And Snoop on the TFL that time. And Tua calling for change up here, sending his receivers out wider. Maybe he sees something that he likes. Wakabayashi stopping the receiver one yard shy of the first down. That'll make it third and one. Tyler Boss on the catch. I think it's Tyler. As we're halfway through the third quarter here. He didn't see Snoop at all. Blindside sack. Big loss. Jiggles barely beat the Bears. Frauds, says Landon. Crying laughing emoji. I, the Bears, second half, they've been good. So uh, one thing we also need to talk about, any of uh, your beloved QBs going to catch up with Snoop, guys? I think the best chance is Stroud. I don't know how many picks he's thrown, but Stroud is 
crushing everyone numbers wise certainly passing yardage jiggles saying a win is a win that's right last game against the rams guys remember three points like as impressed as most of my seasons been been some good fortune two of those have been one score wins as O'Shea with a decent day jiggles landon's pardon me saying is mvp locked up you guys will have zeds at the end of your name so Bro's got seven INTs, 30 TDs, about to hit 4K yards. You got MVP unlocked. We'll see. We'll see. I've never seen a defensive player get it in any recent Madden. I think, honestly, I don't know about any Madden. I've seen some weird MVPs, like uh, Garrison Hurst got uh, me some in like Madden 2000. Big rush by Jiggles. He's carried the ball twice today for a combined 27 yards. I don't know, Cincy. Those, um, like, the Buccaneers are pretty good. Giants, that's light work. That might as well be a second bye week. Oh, my. Completes it to the Ice Bear, throwing it through a drive through window. First and goal on the five. Like, how? Vikings have J.J. Bar oh, uh, have J.J. Barkley and Hawkinson and zero points to show for it. <laughs> That's true. And O'Shea, his second rushing TD of the day. Nicely done. Well earned. He missed out on a few uh, last week, so good to see him stuff the stat sheet a wee bit. Took her out to try and make it 36-7. It's up. It is good. Yeah. McAfee, the new kickoff man. Um, when, uh, wow, geez, I haven't seen D. Bix in a while, but um, he did create that um, cap punter. And this whole time, I wasn't using him on kickoffs. He has like 90s speed and good like tackling stats. Why would I not be using him? Oh, what was that, an RPO? First down, nicely done. Uh, obviously, the injury, not good, but he'll be back. Oh, no. They get five and a half for Snoop. Good boy. And just that swim move killed the right tackle. And the breakup. Sonoa preventing Hunter. Hunter. Calvin Austin from completing the reception. So third and very long for Tua. Three wide receivers on his left, two on his right. No one behind with him. And Snoop and Chase Young combine. Roast has faith in uh, the Bengals' offense to keep him trucking. And Snoop Lindsay is having a second half here. It'd be punted. Uh, the, now, Roast, Roast is saying if he doesn't drop at least 50 on the Giants, he'll be a little upset. Their defense is good. They just can't score. Like, at all. If you guard the run, like, if you can solve Yates, Yates, their halfback, is pretty good. Um, their quarterback sucks. Like, Perillo is trash. Now that I said that, he'll get 400 yards. A uh, fun little seven-yard rumble for uh, Rick O'Shea. I think it's second and three, as it definitely appears as the uh, offense has turned more towards the run game. 
Oh, yeah, Danny Dimes for the Steelers. The Steelers need to draft a quarterback yesterday. Like, of the AI teams, they need a quarterback in the first round. Landon saying Yates had 200 yards on the Panthers. The only reason they lost, of course. Oh, Shay. Wow, carrying his man like an extra four yards. Second and two. It's part of the reason I love power backs. Like, they get such fun animations with uh, their trucking and whatnot. And another, like, four or five yard pickup. Lachey is just grinding them into a pace right now. We'll see if they get the snap off by before the end of the quarter. I assume not. And indeed, we will head to the fourth quarter now. Your score is 36 to 7. Like the Giants might score a couple on your roast, um, and their defense might. Yeah, if they held you into the 30s, wouldn't shock me. You could also drop 50 on them. You never know. Oh, and O'Shea made a bad cut there. Still got two. But kind of juked into the pile of defenders. And yeah, wow, they're running the clock down already. And O'Shea's gone. A 34-yard touchdown run. That'll put him over 100 yards rushing on the day in his third score of the evening. Jiggles Prillo is so much worse than Kyle Trask. Trust and believe. Have you not played the Giants? Like, Perillo is hot garbage. I know Trask is dipped, but the worst. Rose is surprised with the Steelers, though. Performed decent besides the two picks. Steelers have a good playbook. They have an amazing defense. I like Damian Pierce as a halfback. I'm not sure what their offensive line is like, to be honest. Their receivers are good. Their problem is they have, like, 31-year-old regression-suffering Gardner Minshew. And they have a 71 overall Danny Dimes, who wasn't good two seasons ago when he was a 74. Uh, okay, their line couldn't stop. TJ Watt had two tackles the whole game. Wow. Good assignments. Oh, the screen pass just gets blown up. Trask had four INTs versus the Saints, so that probably skews your view of him. Fair. How many did Lattimore have? Lattimore is just a demon. Seven yards on the catch, Boss holding on. After that drop earlier, he has held onto the ball four times. He's been good. Wow, as he's being hit, completes the pass to Calvin Austin. First down. Glad we're at two or three against Trask. That makes sense. Yeah, see, Bengals roast Cincy. He can back me up. Trask is kind of good. He's definitely prone to having bad games because he's not amazing. I think um, Danny Dimes has gotten most of the Steelers' starts, but I know Minshew had at least a pair. Sanoa on the tackle, a pickup of three on the screen pass to Pruitt. Cardinals leading the league in takeaways this year, but only one on the game thus far, that being uh, the Snoop fumble uh, force and the Chase Young fumble recovery. Minshew started against the Saints, says Jiggles. Uh, you know what? I'm happy for you. I know you're... I know you had at least a bit of an affinity for Gardner Minshew, or maybe I'm overreading things from fantasy football or misremembering, which is very possible. Third and seven, and holds on to the ball. Tyler Boss again. He's had a pretty busy uh, second half here. <laughs> Jiggle says, yes, he does. I get that. Hey, there's a reason I've had Jake from uh, the, like, the last two seasons on all my Madden teams. Like, there's just some guys that you feel. God, it's not, it's not for anything Jake Fromm has actually done. 
I have no feelings one way or the other. Oh! Ha! Aaron Donald doing like the old Ron Simmons um, spine buster, just picking the man up and slamming his back flat on the ground. Ah, Rosang him with wicks as well. Nice. Oh my god. Daxton Hill with the sack. There we go. Nicely done. Get in the mix. That's a good point, Jiggles. A lot of the guys might not know our random fantasy football story. I know. I don't know why they let him uh, walk here, uh, Roast. Yes, yeah, from season one of our fantasy football league, the Jake Fromm thing, and uh, I don't think anyone else besides you is from there. BJ McIntyre completes the catch and gets hurt. He kind of looks like uh, the Green Power Ranger there. Oh, wow, that was fourth down? Clearly I'm having more fun paying attention to the chat than the game. Oh, and O'Shea, TFL. AK-47 is hurt. Dude, I am sorry. That is the Rams' best defensive player. Minshew has four starts, according to Lynn, if he counted correctly. I trust you. Oh, it's just... Oh, read option. So pick up a four yards for Jiggles. Jiggles saying, if enough of our CFM buddies are interested, it could be a very fun fantasy football. Yeah, true. I'm down for a second league. Oh, O'Shea. That was at least 15 yards. I have my hands full of Data's doghouse, so I wouldn't uh, commit to commission that one. That's fair. You know what? I'm not commissioner. If I'm commission of the Madden thing, I could probably do the fantasy football thing. Oh, Roast apparently uh, decimated the Steelers. Good show. O'Shea gets two yards, up to 139. Uh, Lynn, I'm sure there'll be a spot opening up. Um... I assume Jack isn't going to come back. And I have not seen Bix in a while. Although Bix has been a good member. Yeah, it, Bix is one of those guys, he'll show up in August, be super active for four months, and then he'll dip. <laughs> he used to show up in the, um, the Madden chats uh, when I streamed. Um, I think it was last year with the uh, Texans. He hasn't been by this year, not offended or anything. Just uh, Yeah, I just haven't seen him. So unable to convert to... Why? why? Going for it with a 30-plus point lead. And succeeding. Kind of feel guilty. Blaming Brandon Ayuk. He's up to four catches for 55 on the day. O'Shea with six yards, up over 150 yards now. And it's eye formation. Looks like it's running out the clock in the most literal sense. Ooh, nice uh, job by the edge rusher there to uh, break the, um, the blocking. Get to the man. Talking hard. We're at the two-minute warning. We'll have to restart that clock. So on third and two, don't be surprised if it's yet another run. Landon taking off. See you uh, soon, my friend. We'll be back for parts of the doubleheader. That'll be after our advance. And O'Shea now at 160 for the afternoon. This might be his most uh, rushing yards ever in a game. He did have close to 200-yard all-purpose game, but uh, I don't think he's caught a pass. No, stop it! O'Shea hurts, because we just keep pounding it with him. All right, he's just on the bench. Hopefully it's nothing. Tiny Stolars will get, to, like, what, two plays now?
Tiny, you vulture. He wants a TD. <laughs> First and goal on the one. So apparently no sportsmanship, not kneeling. Tiny will get a touchdown. I'm really feeling, it, obviously, like, it's hard to not like a team that's about to be 13-0. and As, honestly, a very surprising 50-point game. As I was saying, hard not to like a team that's had this much success, but I like the way it's happened. Rushing touchdowns one week, passing touchdowns another. Like, Jiggles had 500-plus passing yards last week, under 250 this week, because it hasn't been needed. Indeed, you're not wrong, Bengals. Like, the scores themselves. Texans and Bills are both 12-1, and 1, I think. Ah, that's fair. Okay, so you're fourth best. You have two losses, though. And when, like, teams like the Chiefs and 49ers have more losses than you, you are an elite company. True. I'm honestly surprised. I thought the Bills would, like, they were a 10-7 and 7 team. They won the Super Bowl. I didn't think they would get significantly better in the regular season, though, because they lost a couple guys. I mean, thanks to... Uh... Oh, good game to you, Ripa. I'm not going to lord it over you. Um, you're still mid-rebuild? Come on, you, like, a third of your normal cap space is taken up with a cap penalty, so... It was an exciting first quarter, and then my team made me happy with its offense. Let's look at the tail of the tape. Wow, two, uh, I mean, the sacks were rough, but uh, 70%, not bad. So, Jiggles, 16 of 24, 66% with a touchdown, 229 yards through the air to a Tungle Vailoa. 26 completions, more completions than Jiggles had attempts. On uh, 37 attempts for 220 yards for 70%. Rushing the ball, O'Shea, 28 for 169, three scores. Pruitt, 10 for, th 10 for three. Oh, my God. Tiny, three for 11 for and one TD. Jiggles adding 31 yards on the ground on three carries. Bo Andrews had one carry, and it was two yards for a touchdown. <laughs> Cash that check. Puka leading in receptions, but 49 yards. Luke Musgrave, almost doubling any other receiver today, 6 for 106. Brandon Ayuk, 4 for 55 and a score. Weaver, four, 4 for 51. Boss, 6 for 53. The Ice Bear, 4 for 48. Calvin Austin, 5 for 43. And the rest. McIntyre getting hurt on his one catch, which was notable. Did we get sacked? Yes. No, of course we did. I remember at least three. Yeah, of course. The backup had to take the, the fall on that. Tayshawn Leonard with a big game on tackles. Snoop, 10 TFLs and six sacks. Good Lord. And a forced fumble. I, I think that's NFC Defensive Player of the Week unless someone had, like, a legacy game. Six sacks for Snoop. Three for Chase. One and a half for Tayshaun Let One and a half sacks for a cornerback. Amazing. One for Aaron Donald. Half of one for Daxon Hill. Half of one for Hobbsy. We had no picks. We had one forced fumble. Very few pass deflections. Most of them were knockouts. Dicker had a 61-yard field goal. I almost forgot about that. That was early on. Definite career high. He was two for two and six for six on the extra points. Lastly, kick returns. The Ice Bear had one for 20 yards. Tiny Stollers had one for seven yards. Punt returns. Ice Bear had five, averaging 23 yards, including a 77-yard one for a score. Doing a quick time check. Oh, it's 5.30. Okay. So uh, we'll do the post-game press conferences, wrap up, and the advance will be probably around like five to six and i will come back around five after or ten after six i will have to jump on the 49ers account after the advance 
in order to uh i'm gonna hold off on that for a minute might might think about it i have no reason to change anything that's happening uh this will be a little bit unfortunate all the hype coming in was around this duel between two of the league's top QBs, so you have to be happy to come away with a win today. Absolutely. It's always a spectacle when you get two high-caliber players like that going toe-to-toe -to -toe and leave here with a win is icing on the cake. What? Ah, five morale. Who gives a shit? What a pittance. Uh, coach, your offensive line shut out uh, the defense in the sack column last game. Okay, that's a lie. But this week they had some trouble. Okay, right, right. We did hold them clean last week. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's fair. We lost it for ourselves. So we'll do the advance shortly. We'll take a look at the playoff picture then because it will be updated with everything. Thank you all for joining. You could have been anywhere else in the world. Chose to spend it with us. I appreciate that. The Cardinals appreciate that. We'll see you in the next one as I potentially take a licking from Levi Field against the 49ers. Keep sweet.